showing appreciation for our wounded soldiers, not only for their service, but for their incredible sacrifice. For 10 years now, Operation Seize the Day, S-E-A-S, -E Seize the Day, has been organizing a remarkable community-based gesture of gratitude for them, and their Beach Week event is about to kick off again. With us this afternoon in Historic Studio D, this is Annette Reaping. She's a board member with Operation Seize the Day, along with Sergeant Major Carlos Herrera. Thanks for coming. Glad yeah, you're here. Thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So how did, how did this idea for a Beach Week come up in the first place? came up with initially two women who were having cocktails, wine, on the back porch up in Bethany Beach. They also had homes back in Virginia close to where the Pentagon was attacked. And they looked around and thought that Bethany was such a nice family place, why don't we share this with our wounded soldiers coming back? And it also happened that one of them was an airline stewardess who was on her last flight, a long flight to Spain, and she shared this discussion with a man sitting there for some reason, and he looked up and said, well, I own a place in Bethany. So the three of them got together, six hands wrote out what they wanted to do. They wanted to bring veterans in, give them homes to use for a week, and notify all the businesses and people TV stations to let them know that our wounded families are coming because the caregivers sacrifice a lot now. Sure. So we now have caregivers for the spouses and we have caregivers for the teens. Wow. That's nice. Now, this uh, week, this Warrior Week kicked off yesterday yes. and uh, this is your 10th year. How do veterans participate? Well, uh, we get involved with them and uh, we have someone who talks with them. We get some recommendations from organizations of a family in need, and uh, we call them, and so we still have uh, close to 30 groups with us. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, so Carlos, uh, first, thank you for your service. Oh, thank and, you. And Thanks you for are an alumni veteran. You attended last year? Correct. How was it? Best way I can put it, Jimmy, it's uh, it started. I didn't realize that it started the road to recovery. In my job of being retired after 26 years with special operations, we kind of leave in the cover of darkness and we come back in the cover of darkness. So, to say the least, we don't have parades or we don't have signs that we're back because of the secrecy of our, op our the occupation, and that that parade to me just. I can't, uh, I, was, I was in tears because I've never witnessed it or felt it. And more importantly, Jimmy, to be honest, it was more just to see my wife enjoy that moment that somebody else appreciates her husband for her, his sacrifice and more importantly, our sacrifice because it's not, it's not just the veteran because if the veteran can't do his job, if the spouse or the foundation of the household is not strong and, and rooted, you know, so it's just kind of, I was, it was good to see her just have that moment for herself, you know. Wow. And in addition to the welcoming parade and all of that, there are a lot of fun activities for the families as well. What were some of them? Ooh, well, for me, it's uh, for my wife, they get pampered. So they're off doing their own girl thing <laughs> and it's just one thing after the next, pedicure, manicure, massage. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's her moment and just for her to just relax, you know. And for us, the guys hanging out with other veterans and just kind of some of them are in better and worse and better places than others. So we kind of gather up and we have the same commonality. So it helps other veterans. For me, it's golfing. So we can go golfing or fishing and, and just hanging out with veterans and just seeing where they're at or even for advice of what can I do better? What do you think? Or what's your profession? What are you doing now? And how are you adjusting to life? You know, it's a brotherhood that stays. A brotherhood. brotherhood just continues to shoot. It's in a different aspect now. Yeah. We're we're no longer serving. Now we're helping the people that are trying to transition over into a civilian world. Well, thank you so much yes. for for doing it. Ten years of uh, Warrior Beach Week, and of course, you're always looking for volunteers. And we have a link on our website, DelmarvaLife.com, in case you would like to help out. The parade the is really going to be something to be at. If any of your viewers want to come up to um, Bayside, it's going to be quite an event for the area. And when's that? That is Friday, 
It leaves C Colony at about 4.15. They'll be coming into Bayside probably around uh, 4.30, 4.40. Honk mm -hmm. wave, make noise. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of noise and a lot of <laughs> surprises. Uh, surprises that you wouldn't want to miss. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Great talking to you this afternoon. Don't worry, stay with us.